$1,776.2101. There's a few things I want to explain on this right here. So I joined last November. That is how much I made on TikTok with one of the ways that creators have been making thousands, if not tens of thousands per month on TikTok is of course none other than the TikTok Creativity Program Beta. However, the TikTok Creativity Program Beta has changed yet again. And in this video, we're gonna look at what those changes are and more importantly, how they affect you as a TikTok content creator. That's in we're also gonna define what the TikTok Creativity Program Beta is exactly for those who don't know. I've got a playlist in the description that is dedicated purely towards all aspects of the Creativity Program Beta. So if that sounds good, come close but not too close and let's jump straight into what's changed. My name is Victor and welcome to Create a Bug where we help you create content, ditch your 9 to 5 and live the life that you want. So the TikTok creativity program has changed again as you can see here and the main change is that it's no longer the creativity program beta it's now something that's called the TikTok creator rewards so we're just going to run through what those changes or updates are so you can have an idea of what's changed and you know whether it's potentially changing for the better or worse you can make that decision um, but firstly we're going to run through just a quick definition of what TikTok creativity program beta is for those of you who don't know what it is um, Gemini has brought me a lovely um, description of what it is here it probably doesn't cover everything um, but essentially if you didn't know the creativity program beta now known as the tiktok creator rewards program which is what we're going to get into a little bit later on it's designed to financially reward creators for making high quality original content it was launched in february 2023 as an improvement over the previous creator fund which many creators felt didn't offer enough earnings so essentially this is the big brother to the tiktok creator fund it's meant to pay people more which it does again i've got a playlist in the description running through a bunch of different case studies of creators that are making thousands per month using this system or this payment method now some of the key points about the program as you can see here i um, mean it rewards high quality original videos so it focuses on longer videos over a minute long that are engaging and unique as opposed to the TikTok creator fund which was just paying you for any length video basically um, also this has higher earnings potential compared to the creator fund creators have the potential to earn up to 20 times more money through the creator rewards program so if you were getting for example um, 0.3 cents per thousand views in this new program you've got a potential to earn 20 times that just as an example um, rewards based on views so creators earn money based on the number of views the videos get with a focus on what's called qualified views that meet certain criteria set by tiktok i've done a specific video on what qualified views are and i will link that somewhere in the description or it will be in that playlist i will have linked in the description so i won't get into too much detail on that right now Benefits beyond money, the program also aims to help creators grow their audience and discoverability on the platform. So there you go, that's what the creativity program beta is. Um, so, well, the creator rewards program as it's called now, it's gonna take a while for that to sink in. Um, so this is a significant upgrade for creators looking to monetize their content on TikTok. It offers a more rewarding system that incentivizes the creation of high quality engaging videos. So the underlying message in this, for those of you who don't know, TikTok is clapping back at YouTube here. Um, by the way, for those of you who are, you know, hating on TikTok and all that stuff, you know, do what you will, say what you will, but do not forget how much YouTube has had to change and adjust since TikTok came into the game. Do not forget how much Instagram and Facebook have had to change and adapt since TikTok came into the game. Look at the impact that it's had on other social media platforms. If YouTube didn't take TikTok seriously, they wouldn't have spent millions, if not hundreds of millions, changing and updating their platforms, introducing YouTube shorts, introducing all types of other features that you would have never thought of before five years ago on YouTube. All of that is because of how much Instagram, YouTube, Facebook are seeing TikTok as a threat in terms of taking away their viewers. That is why they've had to adjust and throw money into adding all these different features and all these different things to compete with TikTok. So this is kind of TikTok clapping back at these platforms and saying, not only can we do shorter videos, but we can also do longer videos as well. In fact, we are gonna try and see if we can take your viewership and have people watch longer videos on TikTok rather than on YouTube. Will that happening? I don't know. Is it happening? 
I don't know, but I can tell you for a fact that TikTok has a huge community and if they say they're going to do something and they spend enough money pushing it like this, then, you know, anything, anything is possible. And just to say as well, for those wondering about the whole TikTok getting banned in the US, I'm um, I am not a political guy. I've got no idea. I, what I will say for a fact is that this is not the first time this has happened. Um, the US have tried to ban TikTok before. It didn't work. Um, and if it, if it does work, it's not going to happen in one day. It's probably going to be a gradual process that's going to happen over time. But there are a lot, as much as there are some troubling areas from, you know, TikTok, as much as there are with a lot of other social media platforms as well, there are also huge benefits economically in my opinion, that have gone into the US. They've got many offices in the US. They've got employees and they've got a huge e-commerce platform with TikTok shop right now, a lot of, it of which is embedded in the US right now. They've got a huge community of users that are based in the US and earning money from TikTok from that side as well. So, you know, how is that going to impact TikTok potentially being banned in the US? I don't know, but I just don't think it's going to be like a snap of a finger and it's done if it gets done at all and it's not the first time that the us have tried to do it but we'll see how things play out and you know we'll um see where things go from there so that is the tiktok creativity program in a nutshell so what's changed what's new so as mentioned it is now called the tiktok creator rewards and this article by the way that was updated on the 19th of march 2024 so this is pretty new it was updated yesterday so it's now called the um tiktok creator rewards formerly the creativity program beta and this kind of runs you through what the changes are how you can join it etc so we're just going to skim through some of the information here and we're not going to read everything word for word so what is the tiktok creator rewards program and we are not going to delve into that too deeply but essentially um as what we have looked at here um this is not too different from what the gemini ai has told us is their creativity program but just to kind of run through that again um so this was previously the creativity program and now it's uh create tiktok creator rewards program um, and it's going to focus on the four key areas um, in terms of assessing whether to reward you or not it's going to focus on originality plagiarization search value and audience engagement so when you are creating your videos you are going to be hitting ideally all of these elements um, if not majority of them if you are interested in getting paid from the creator rewards program so original originality you just want to think about obviously how original your videos are you want to stay away from um podcast clips and stuff like that you want to stay away from movie clips you want to stay away from sports clips if you do use them um you want to make sure obviously that you do edit them to an extent that you can argue that it's fair use and that it has been transformed enough for you to kind of declare it as not being copied if that makes sense so keep as original as possible play duration we know that the creativity program beta only rewards one minute plus long videos 60 seconds and up so again you want to make sure that a your video is 60 seconds and up for you to qualify and b that within that video you have got what's called a qualified view which is essentially um, videos that are five seconds and up search value you're not just uploading a video um randomly that's just come up you want to make sure that it is searchable as well and for that you simply just use tiktok search functionality to check whether people are searching for your video before you upload it if they are you know that's got a higher obviously search value um, and if it's got search value that means you delivering a video that people are interested in people have a question around the topic that the video is around and that also means to tiktok that there's potentially a community of people there that they can advertise to or the companies that advertise on tiktok can advertise to and they can target which essentially is the whole premise behind this creator rewards program it's like the youtube partner program you get paid a portion of what advertisers pay tiktok to advertise to your audience hence why tiktok is leaning in heavily on these four areas here so it's supposed to be the answer to complaints that some creators about the sub part yeah we know that um creator fund was paying people small amounts of money um blah 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 blah, blah. yeah so we know that um so how much does the creator rewards pay you um so support creators felt somewhat demoralized by the creator fund 20 
times the amount that we're making through the original fund. That's how much you get paid. We know that. Um, in its latest press release, it also said that thanks to creator earnings have jumped up 250% from September 2023 to March 2024. So creators are earning a lot more than they did from September last year to between September last year and now. Um, there's some creators making around 50000 a month. Um, in fact, the number of creators making around 50000 a month has d nearly doubled. So you can see why um, this is a really, really good um, key focus area if you are interested in making money on TikTok. Again, for me, TikTok shop is probably still more superior than the creativity program beta. The difference between the two being with TikTok shop, you're asking people to buy things from your videos. Whereas with the creativity program beta, you are getting paid for your views. You're not asking people to buy anything from your video. And by the way, and I have got a specific video for this. There are videos or creators that are getting paid both on TikTok shop and on the creativity program beta as well on the same video. If, for example, you've got a TikTok shop product that you've got linked in your video, you're demonstrating what the product does and that video happens to be more than 60 seconds long, which is the minimum for the creativity program beta. If, if you are that person and you are in the TikTok creator rewards program, you will get paid both on TikTok shop and on creator rewards for the same video as well. I have got an example of someone that's done exactly that. And again, that'll be a video that's linked somewhere in the description. Eligibility for the Creator Rewards program. Um, so you need to be 18 and up. You need to have at least 10,000 followers, a minimum of 100,000 valid video views in the last 30 days. So this is just normal video views. This is not video views on one minute plus videos only. This is just views on your videos in general in order for you to qualify to apply for the Creator Rewards program. Once you've qualified, once you've been successful, only after that, you will then need to be mainly getting views on videos that are one minute plus for you to get paid have a personal account that's in good standing um, business accounts are not accepted abide by tiktok community guidelines be located in the region where tiktok creator rewards program is available brazil france um, germany japan korea united kingdom and the united states how to join and the so we go into profile um, and then you tap the menu button creator tools create rewards program and that is all good um, and then you've got the creator rewards versus the creator fund key um, differences there um, and again that runs through the all the different key differences that you um, probably need to be aware of between the two because um, that creator fund is still available to an extent even though it is shutting down it's just important to know what the differences are between the two so you don't end up applying for the wrong one again i don't think you can apply for this currently um but it's just this just notes down what the differences are so you know um what they are exactly um okay some uh, videos here running through people that have um talked about these creator rewards um, and that just tells you more ways to make money on here as well so really good um bit of information there to get you up to date and up to speed on what the changes are um, and what's happened exactly um, another potential source where you can get some updating information is on this website here newsroom.tiktok.com um but again, that pretty much says the same thing, um, which is being hi highlighted here. So it's it's all pretty much the same. And yeah, I mean, the more the more options, the better. The more you know, the better. Um, personally, I would say try and make the most of as many of these monetization opportunities as possible while they still last. Yes, you may not be an early adopter at this stage with the Creator Rewards program, but the more you know, the better you are right and you can either choose to go for it or not but you're making an informed decision and ultimately that is that is the goal of all this